Good morning. We've been standing out here. Actually, we've been sitting out here. We just right been there. sitting. <laughs> yeah. Enjoying the, the morning here, eating our breakfast and stuff. And Delilah's been out here relaxing. And oh, <laughs> there she is right there. <laughs> where are you going? Where are you she going, Delilah? No. Do you know where you're going? No. Where are you going? Huh? You don't know? Okay. <coughs> All right. Yeah? <laughs> She's been kind of clingy here for a little bit, haven't you? Yep, we don't yeah. know why. Yeah, don't know why. Well, if you see off over there in the distance, you'll see that uh, our friends Marvin and Mary showed up, and they have a beautiful spot right there overlooking the the pond here. And the mornings have been just absolutely gorgeous like this every morning. It's been really hard to get inspired to go to work. Well, it's just you inspiring know. to just sit and stare at the water. I know, <laughs> I know. And, uh, and we'll have some more friends showing up tomorrow. So yeah, uh, here in a little while, we're gonna have lots of people around. But uh, we have been doing some work on the trailer. Yes, we yeah. have. And that's the main reason why we wanted to, uh, to visit with you right quick about everything. And also, in a little bit, I want to talk about product reviews that you read, like when you're looking up a product on Amazon and you read the reviews down below. Uh, we'll talk about that here in just a little bit. Uh, and there's a reason why, and you'll see. But first, what I want to show, and there ain't a whole lot to show here at the moment, but uh, I'm going to step over here, babe. We've been working on the trailer hitch, or the uh, receiver hitch, to mount the bikes back here on the bike rack. And we did have it all mocked up the other day. In fact, uh, you're probably looking at a photo of it right now, how we had it all mocked up. Uh, and these are the three plates that we're going to be using right here that will be bolted and welded to the cross members back here on the trailer. And then, of course, the receiver tube will fit, you know, in between those holes right there. And uh, today what I got to do, I got to uh, squirt a little bit of paint on them a little bit to... Uh, and then Brad's going to go ahead and uh, we're going to rebolt it back up. Then Brad's going to go ahead and weld the plates to the tube. And then if we deem it necessary, after we bolted everything back on, we'll probably go ahead and do a few uh, welds, you know, uh, the plates to the, uh, to the cross members. But we're going to determine that once we get it up there and see how strong it is. And just when we had it mocked up the other day and lightly bolted in place, it was stout. I mean, it was really, really stout. So we're really excited about how that's going to work out. And what's going to be neat about it is we have this offset. You can see these four bolt holes here, which that's the plate right there that will be, you know, behind that. It won't be <laughs> exposed out here. It'll be behind. But uh, that uh, that's offset a little bit, as you can see. And what that does, it makes the the bikes land, you know, roughly right in here. Uh, just a little bit back from the edge here. And what that also is going to allow for, we'll do a, an affair similar to this over here for a spare tire mount where there'll be a tube coming out, a tube coming, coming up, and then of course uh, be able to mount the spare tire here. And that's also going to allow the license plate still to be seen. But anyway, uh, that's how that's all working out. So we'll have the spare tire where it'll be mounted back here, easily accessible. The bikes will be, you know, right over here. And uh, it's coming along quite nicely. Quite nicely, isn't it, dear? Yes, I'm excited yeah. about the, that. That is, <laughs> well, I'm excited about everything we're doing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, you ready to go in? Yeah. You want to go inside? Let's right. go inside. We'll be right back. We're going to go inside and show you what we got going on in there. Delilah. Yeah, she had to come in with us, didn't she? Didn't yep. you, baby? Let's see what was going on in here. <laughs> uh, our neighbors down the road, they have a little dog, Abby. Oh, yeah. yeah the ones that just showed up. Our well, neighbors? <laughs> well, Marvin and Mary. <laughs> you mean Marvin and Mary? Little dog, Abby. Uh, what kind of dog is that? She is a toy poodle, a I toy believe. Poodle. I believe. And she she thinks she's uh She ten thinks feet she's tall. a mountain lion. Yeah, she thinks she's ten feet tall yeah. and bulletproof. Yeah. Her and Delilah have uh, gotten into it a couple they of times. They have words. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but our Delilah 
Oh, stop her. it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little ass. Anyway, i um, <clears throat> been working on the cabinet door fronts here. And uh, I'm just going to sit down right here so I can swing from side to side. But here's what, uh, here's my concept or our concept of what we want to do. You know, we had choices here. We could have cut the doors larger so that they, you know, come overlap over here on either side. But what I was wanting to do here, I was wanting to figure out a way to latch these so, you know, to hold them in place. And I thought, well, why don't we try this, which is a little more difficult actually, because you have to really be careful how you fit these doors in here to have just a little bit of reveal all the way around and try to have it consistent. So I spent a little bit of time on the table saw, didn't I, dear? Uh, yeah, yeah and I don't guess you're done. <laughs> no, <laughs> might have to do a little bit more fine tuning even still. But uh, what our plan is, when we get these all done here, uh, they're, uh, we're going to have bar latches, very similar this. to what we used right here. For when traveling. Right, for when traveling. And, and, and they'll match, you know, they'll match what else we, all the other things we have in the trailer as well, because we've got bar latches being used at, at other doors throughout the trailer. Right. So they'll still match that, but we'll probably have a bar latch here for this one, bar latch here for this one. And we bought extras. If we determine that we need to, we may put extras on either side as well, uh, just to make sure that they're held nice and secure uh, when it comes to that. So this is what uh, what we're working on here. And it took a little time to fine tune these. And then Deb, she resanded this a couple times until she got the texture on it just the way she wanted. She ended up. She thought this plywood would stain really well and. It had a pretty grain, but it didn't show through. It didn't very well. show through. No. So no. I yeah. had to get creative. And right. actually, it was Karen's idea to uh, do a little faux on it. So uh -huh. I kind of put a little faux grain on it. And uh, I like it better. Now it goes better with the side panels. Anyway. Yeah, I think it's going to look nice, especially when we put another coat of paint. Yeah, all on, that's got to be touched the, up. Hopefully, the, I have enough paint to do that. Yeah. Because I really well, didn't want to buy paint yet. <laughs> well, if we have to, we have to. You know, it's just part of it. Now, the way these Reva Shelf kits work here, you can get a bracket kit, and we've got them bolted on to the bottom drawers, and those bracket kits go right on the bottom drawers, just like this. And it's really easy to put them on. And uh, first, you have a mounting plate that is right here, and then this bracket bolts onto that mounting plate. Now, when you get these kits, they give you this double sticky tape. And the whole idea is to put this double sticky tape on the front of these flanges right here, and then lay your door in place. And what I've also done uh, to make it easier to make sure these doors are in place, I put little blocks. I got a block here, block there, a block over there and a block here behind and we'll be painting those two that way when we lay that door up in there we can push it right up against those blocks the way we will center the door in there and I picked this up from uh, a woodworking channel that I like to watch it's uh, called bourbon moth woodworking we love that guy he's hilarious uh, but man he has some great ideas and one of the ideas that he that I learned from him and I'm sure it's nothing new but to use playing cards and, and uh, use it to get your reveal, your spacing all the way around. So we've got some extra old uh, decks of playing cards. So we'll have to get new ones when it's time to play uh, hand and foot again, it, won't it, we? Yeah. yeah. Which yeah. we're going to be doing that here for a long. I will be, yes. Yeah, I know you, you and the ladies <laughs> will be playing hand and foot. But uh, what we'll do is we'll lay these doors, you know, set them in here, and then stick playing cards as shims all the way around until we're happy with uh, the reveal that we have all the way around to where it's pleasing to the eye and then we will uh, we'll have to reach in from another way and then push this door push the drawer out where it touches after it's got the double sticky on it after after we uh, have the door in place then we'll push that out with the double sticky on it and then theoretically it sticks to the door and then we can take the whole thing off and uh, and screw these plates on properly and then put it back on and it should line up just right 
that's the theory. Right. That's what we're going to go with. <laughs> that's what we're hoping now, for. <laughs> we are a little concerned about that uh, double sticky tape, right? Yes, yeah. I was because I've never known double stick tape to stick, stick that well. Because I know when we get this in place, if it comes loose, mm -hmm. there's going to be a lot of frustration in this room. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, she's referring to me. So as the, I the suggested, thing. actually, I suggested alien tape, which uh -huh. I like to uh -huh. hang little things. That's what we're going to try to do. And that, of course, will be a subject for the next video. That's uh, another thing. Yeah, yeah. And then if he's got the drawer fronts ready to sand and paint. Uh-huh. Um, and that's going to be a subject for another video. I'm not right. going to show him anything about okay, that right that's now. Fine. But it's, um, it's a we had to come up we had to come up with something because these are going to be white these are going to be white here and i had to come up with something that uh that would look like it was meant to be but it's different how do i explain that it's unique well it will be unique <laughs> and hopefully my idea will work mm -hmm. but uh our drawer fronts will be white and I've already got the boards already pre-cut for it, but like I say, that will be a subject of another video. The problem that I'm dealing with here is when I had these cabinets made, and I had a cabinet shop actually make the cabinet carcasses, and of course they went ahead and installed these drawers. Had I been thinking more about it, I would have had them inset the drawers a minimum of three quarters of an inch, so we could have done the same thing like we're doing here. But since I didn't think about that at the time, because I did not know at the time, you know, this is my first rodeo when it comes to this. Kind I of thing. think it's gonna look good. I, I came up with a different idea, and we're just gonna we're just gonna surprise you with. You it. know, these things you we know? have to wing as we go. Yeah, that's what we got to do. <laughs> so anyway, that that's how that's gonna work there. And when we actually start doing that, we will, you know, show you. We may not show you the first one, but we'll, after we get the first one done and it works out the way we think it should, we'll show you the next one. And we've got uh, these cabinet doors cut over here, They're too. ready to stain, I think. And they are ready to sand and stain. Right. And uh, uh, and we'll be doing those the same way. We've already got Revishelv kits installed behind there but uh, they're in place right now and Deb's going to pull them off here in a minute this is just the filler here this is not going to be exposed because i'll have a false drawer front that goes on top of that and here again uh that's just so it will match the ones on the other side right 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 yeah now for a minute here before we go and and uh, back to one thing that we've been wanting to keep you all posted on is our new pump that we install from Kori. We you love know? it. And we absolutely love that pump. And uh, here again, that's what's going on. I mean, it's, it's, watch this. It's just fabulous. This thing is fabulous. And it's quiet. We can't get over how quiet it is. Of course, I, I installed it in a little bit different method, you know. But now when you go in and read the reviews, product reviews like on Amazon or wherever you go there's many of them that are less than stellar and I've tended over the years because dealing with different products that I'm familiar with like in the in the sound equipment business because I was involved in music for so long I would look up uh, reviews on certain kinds of powered speakers and things like this and some of their reviews were absolute let's just be honest they were absolutely ridiculous because these folks were trying to use these products in a manner in which they were not designed to be used and then they complained and said it was the product's fault I'm sorry it was not the product's fault it was their fault because they did not do proper research uh, they didn't hook them up properly things like this well there's been reviews on this pump that have not been favorable favorable one of them was the one that seemed to stick out more in my mind than anything else was leaks 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 we're on our second tank with it we've been using it religiously and i double check it often but i'm going to do it again here right quick and well i need a light We're going to light this up so you can see it better for a little bit here. 
you know, that'll help a little bit. It's not the brightest light in the world, but it'll help. Anyway, there are no leaks in here, people. That thing is not leaking. There are no leaks anywhere. Period. So, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you there. They probably got a close-up on my face they didn't want to see. Probably. But, you know, here again, uh, like I responded to this one comment, you know, and, 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 and I understand the concern. Uh, I do. But uh, I usually tend to take uh, product reviews when it's on Amazon and places like that. I usually tend to take these reviews with a grain of salt, you know. Uh, if the person didn't know exactly what they were doing, hooking it up or whatever, yeah, you're going to have leaks. You're going to have leaks, aren't you, babe? <laughs> I, I don't know. That's not my department. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we are so happy with this pump so far. We will continue to keep you posted. We will continue. And if we end up with a problem later, I will go back and refer back to this video and tell you that, okay, there is a problem, but I don't anticipate a problem. So far, so good. Yeah, so far, so we, good. We like it. And we are tickled to death with it. And it is a pleasure to use this pump and not worry about it surging back and forth. To be quite honest, the pump we had before, which we didn't go into detail about that pump, but it came from a very, very popular, very, very well-known manufacturer, and we had problems with it from day one. There you anyway, are. Anyway, that's enough of that. Yep. we got to get back to work. Yeah. Anyway, this is Bill and Deb with iRide Tiny House Adventures. We're not camping. We're living. Y'all get out there, and you do some living, and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.